guys welcome to my channel welcome to DIY art plus so today I'm gonna paint on my canvas today so uh, if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like this video whenever you think it's a good video so the first video I ever posted on my uh, YouTube channel which is uh, Daisy's flower so many pe people get confused uh, with the background so here I come up with another uh, painting so the daisy's flower that I'm gonna paint today but uh, with the background this is gonna be a very simple but still beautiful background so let's start so for that I'm just gonna be using these three brushes today and these are the colors that I'm gonna be using today just the basic colors so uh, I'll let you know what color uh, these are and I'm using acrylic paint today all right so uh, I take an old binder here and I am using uh, canvas paper and I just tape the edges with my binder so that doesn't move when I paint all right so let's start with our background so again if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more of these kind of a painting step by step and also other DIYs that I do okay so let's start make sure you also have a cup of water so you can just uh, clean your brushes there so here before i paint i'm just gonna wipe my bristles in my cup in my water cup here and wiping on the edges and i'm gonna start with my sky so let me show you uh, let me tell you what i'm painting here uh, i'm just gonna paint a sky on top here and the ground up here and also some flower coming from down okay so let's start so first i'm gonna use this blue color so here i'm taking blue on one side of my brush and i'm taking a little bit of white on the other side of my brush so something like that a little bit white and a little bit blue okay so i'm using again very simple stroke here for this background which is left to right strokes nothing's new here it's very easy just going left to right all the way to the edges if you feel like it's still hard for you just start from one side of your canvas and bring it to the other side and as you can see I'm blending it all nicely together whenever you see you are getting fuzzier line like this make sure you take a little bit more paint and tiny little water not too much of water this time Again, I take a white and blue and I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing. So I'm taking a little bit of water here. it's gonna be so much easier to apply this paint because the surface of our canvas is very rough and water helps to spread the paint very easily here again I'm gonna take one more time white and blue So here I'm done with my sky and I'm gonna work on my ground down here so for that I'm still using blue but I'm also gonna be using some green this time so let's start with the white and blue first so I'm taking more white this time and less blue as you can see I'm covering my whole bottom this time and as you can see I didn't really cover perfectly with this color so I still have some of the empty space now I'm taking a little bit of water just tiny little one and then I'm gonna take some green this time 
and then I'm gonna blend all of these colors together after that just like this just going left to right still So whenever you are painting, try to take just a tiny little amount of paint. If you take too much of paint uh, and you ended up with a lot of paint on your canvas, it's gonna be uh, that painting, that background might become slightly a little bit muddier because you take too much of paint. So that's why uh, I like to take a tiny little amount of paint. If I need more, I can always add some more on top. But if you already apply too much, it's going to be so much hard to remove that paint from there. So if you are also new to painting, make sure you take a tiny little paint, not too much, not a big glob of paint on your brush. As you can see, I just take green just maybe a couple times and I mostly use a little bit of water there. So here I'm all done. I'm just gonna let everything dry before I move on to my next step. And before you put these brushes away, make sure you clean your brush first. Otherwise, your brush is gonna get very hard and you just have to throw that. So since I'm using acrylic canvas paper, my painting is drying very quickly but if you are painting on a real canvas a stretch canvas make sure you let everything dry before you move on to your next step all right so my background is almost like a dry but now i can work on my green area one more time so uh, for that i'm still using that same flat brush you don't have to use this uh pointy brush like I'm using here if you have the flat one let me show you like this one you can still use that both of these still gonna work same for this part okay so uh, I'm gonna add some stems first uh, so let's do that so here I'm just gonna use that same green color just on the tip and I'm just gonna clean it clean extra paint on the edges like that so that I don't have too much paint on my brush okay and I'm just gonna start adding some stems very randomly so uh, I want to add some bigger flower over here and smaller one over here so uh, that's how I'm gonna plan and that's how I'm gonna add all of these stems so uh, again this is not gonna be a perfect stem this is also the background stem where I also don't have some of where I also don't have any flowers there I don't know if that makes sense or not but you'll see what I do in here okay I'm gonna start with the smaller one first so as you can see I'm not going adding any perfect stems just starting from top bringing all the way to the bottom just using very light pressure here I'm gonna take a tiny little more paint similar way taking a little bit on tip and wiping it on the edges and slowly I'm gonna work and add longer one now The more you add, it's better for this part. So keep adding more. I don't have any a line that is starting from top, coming all the way down. I all, almost like stopping in the middle and then starting again from the bottom. So you don't need any straight line here.
Make sure you come all the way down. So for me, it's hard to come all the way down. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting from the bottom and bringing my paint up just for about like an inch or two area on the bottom like that and I'm using a flat brush not just a tape I'm just using the flat brush and I'm always starting from bottom for this part because I'm using a flat brush so that I this area is nicely covered with just a green color okay so here I'm just gonna keep adding more and more like I said more is better there is no right no wrong to be honest As you can see, as I still can see some of the blue from here and st you still can see a lot of green here. So that's what I'm going for and here I think I'm all done with my stamps. If I need more, I can always go back and add some more later. Alright, so now I'm gonna clean my brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some um, clouds here. So let's do that. So for that, I'm gonna use this round brush, biggest strong brush that I have here. And I'm just gonna put my bristles here before I apply it, before I take any paint here. Okay, and for my clouds, I'm just gonna be using white paint. Just a tiny little one just a tiny little bit on my tape like that okay and uh, to be honest you can add your clouds wherever you want wherever you have space on your canvas uh, I'm just gonna add maybe right here and for the whole time when I add this cloud all I'm gonna do is dab 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 okay so let me show you you don't have to create any uh, perfect shape remember there is nothing perfect in nature right so we don't need to create any perfect shape for the cloud all right so just randomly I'm dabbing it, creating the shape of my cloud. As you can see, I just take my paint just one time. And after I all of this dab, I don't I almost ha don't have any paint on my brush, but I'm just still going to dab 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 until I don't see it looks like a clouds remember there is nothing perfect in nature we don't have to create any perfect cloud here this is just an illusion of clouds okay so that is my first cloud and I'm gonna add second one so for the second one I'm taking again tiny little paint and I'm just adding a small one maybe on top right here Okay, so here I'm all done with my cloud. That's all I'm gonna do here. Okay, now I'm gonna actually just clean your brush or just leave it in your water because I'm gonna be using my smallest brush now, which is this one right here. Okay, so before I take any paint, I'm just gonna wet my bristles. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some flowers and that's the fun part. Okay, so let's start with the very simple flower and for that i'm just gonna use white paint so here i'm just gonna take some white okay so here i'm adding some daisies first so uh think of like 
this is the center so I'm gonna add some daisies down here so think of this as the center of your flower just make a little dot for you and then add the petals coming out of that dot so um, so here I'm just gonna start from this dot and adding the petal like that okay you don't have to count your petals just start from bottom just start from the dot and bring your paint out like that create a flower shape just like that think of like a fireworks that's what i like to go for for now uh, it's gonna look like a fireworks for now wait until we add the center of our flower okay you don't have to add the full flower the bloom flower uh, i mean the whole flower uh, you can also add the flower that looks something like this so again this is the center and i'm just adding my petals on my bottom area right here i'm not adding anything over here okay so here i'm just gonna keep adding more and more flowers so maybe i want one more here Okay, and maybe one more down here. Okay, so now that I'm done with my flower, my petals, I'm gonna clean my brush here. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, yellow color just a tiny little yellow not too much as you can see I like to take a tiny little paint not too much and then I'm gonna go back on all of my petals one more time again start from the center of your flower and then bring your paint out as you can see I'm not covering all of my white I'm just adding a little touch of yellow here again and then I'm gonna apply some just a plain brown for the center of our flowers so again this is the center and I'm just adding a slightly little small dot here and here is our flower okay so let's repeat the same thing a tiny little dot okay so here I'm gonna clean my brush Okay, so now I'm just going to keep adding more and more flowers, all random different flowers. So let's do that. So for the next flower, I'm going to repeat almost the same thing, but I'm just using yellow this time. And I'm going to add a big flower, just maybe right here. You don't have to perfectly add it on your stem. Uh, you can also add it right here where there is no stem. Remember, uh, I said we can always, uh, I mean, we're gonna go back at the end and add more stem wherever we need. A 
again this is the center and I'm adding a bigger petal because this is a bigger flower and I'm also using a little bit of white here Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing for maybe a couple more times. a brown color for the center of the flower but I'm gonna clean my brush okay so now I'm gonna move on to my next flower and I'm gonna add purple flower this time and a different flower okay so for that I'm using this purple paint okay and I'm just taking tiny little paint on tip and if you feel like you have too much paint just uh, wipe it on the edges like that okay so let's see maybe I want to add that flower over here for this stem so uh, I'm gonna add a different type of flower. So that is my first petal here. I need more paint. Okay, so I'm just gonna add about like uh, three petals for each flower. So that is one, two, and three. And here's my one flower. Okay, so here I'm just going to repeat the same thing. I don't really see the whole stamp here, but I'm assuming that my stamp is going this way. Alright, so that's all with this flowers. I'm just gonna add maybe a couple more over here. Maybe just one more. different type of flower and for that so I already started adding this one more flower here using just a red paint and I'm adding a huge flower this time and adding a lot of petals Okay, I'm just gonna add about like a two flowers here, big one. And one 
one small one over here. So this part is going to be different for everyone to be honest because uh, you all are using different size of canvas and um, after we apply those stamps back there, you all have a different space on your canvas too um, because it depends where you add your, all of the flowers and where you have space for different flowers now. So uh, to be honest, you don't have to perfectly follow me for this part because uh, to be honest, wherever you have space and you want to add uh, those flowers, you can always add a different type of flower wherever you want to. So here I almost use the same, uh, I mean I use the same color for this flower too also. a little bit of orange color so here I'm gonna use red and yellow mixing both together okay so this is the color that I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply the center of our red flowers so here I'm just going to make a big glob of dot. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some more and more flowers. And this time I'm just going to add very small one. I'm just gonna clean my brush and I really want to use like a pink color here so for that I'm gonna mix the white and red together Ooh, I love this color for this flowers. Alright, so now I'm going to go back and add some stems 
and for that i clean my brush and i'm just using a black uh, i'm sorry a uh, green color but here i'm also gonna add one more color so uh here i'm gonna take a little bit of uh, green color put inside of my plate and taking tiny little brown not too much just a teeny teeny tiny little brown mixing it all together taking a little bit more here So as you can see here, uh, this is the regular green and this is the darker green that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I really don't want to use a plain paint here. I really want to use some water. So here I'm going to take a little water and mixing it with a tiny paint, not the whole glob of paint. A little bit more paint, uh, sorry, a little bit more water. Alright, so now... I'm gonna add some more stems for these flowers especially the bottom of our flowers okay so here I'm just gonna add stem that looks something like that so you can see the difference this is the regular green and this is the darker green and I'm barely touching my canvas here I'm just using tip of my brush you don't have to find a space and uh, for your stamp and come down you can just uh, maybe start from uh, let's say not for this one but for this one right here you can just maybe start from here come all the way down and touch this flower a little bit and you don't have to come all the way down to be honest and i'm gonna repeat the same thing for this flower here because i really wanted to make it dark enough stamp so you can see clearly So here I'm all done. So I am gonna add the center of the some of the flower that I uh, missed. So let's let me do that now. And for that I'm just using a plain white here. Okay, so now that I'm done, I really want to do one more thing. And for that, I'm going to be using this old toothbrush. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to add some splatters of white because uh, that really that really going to finish, uh, especially on this bottom area because uh, the white, wherever we add, is also going to uh, work as its flower in the background. It's per, It's very hard to see the petals and everything but you still can see that okay so for that i'm gonna use just to, so first i'm gonna wet my bristles i mean uh, the bristles of all of my toothbrush and then tap the extra water and then i'm gonna take some uh, white paint here and then on the side of my plate i'm gonna mix my water so I'm not taking any water. Remember, we already take some water earlier, and then I'm gonna mix it this with the paint. Okay, and then you just have to pull the bristles back. So something like that, just on the bottom of some of the area. I'm not going everywhere. 
make sure you are facing just on your canvas not everywhere else otherwise this is the paint gonna go everywhere you're gonna get splatters everywhere i'm also heading someone to top i don't know why okay So here I'm all done with my painting. So now I'm gonna remove this uh, painter's tape. if you enjoy watching my video and I hope I explained this time much better than the last time <laughs> okay so uh, if you have any question just leave a comment down below about uh, the materials or any stuff that you have and uh, if you want me to try something else something different I can always uh, try something different for you guys um, so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy watching uh, this painting and i will see you next time whenever i paint again so bye thank you for watching <laughs>